If you would get the opportunity, what would you cook for Gordon Ramsay? Bacon, tomato and cream cheese on an everything bagel sandwich. This is fucking disgusting you fucking donkey. Sounds good. Gimme. In honor of Mr. Ramsay I read it as tomato. A, potato tomato. Idiot sandwich. Instant ramen. Instant Ramsay. Something terrible, just so he would yell at me and call me a stupid cunt. I would microwave a salad. I do a steak marinated in mojo criollo, salt, pepper, chopped onion, garlic and seasoned with sauce and goy with coriander and annatto. Along with some Spanish rice and peppered baked broccoli. I'm no culinary genius. I suck at cooking but it's my version of a crazy delicious dish my grandmother used to make and I've gotten fairly well reception from others. My best shot at impressing Gordon Ramsay. The one dish in this post that actually sounds good. Hummus for human. Burned steak and instant mashed potatoes. Toast. Just toast. I'm amazed I had to scroll so far to find this. And still laughed when I found it. LOL. I know. I chose this because no matter what I cook he would hate it. So I would try the simplest thing I could imagine. This is Skeev's card playing strategy in Robert Asprin's myth series. A naked mole rat, a bat and a pig all melted into roach blood. Definitely not what I made last night. We had breakfast for dinner and I made a Mexican hash for a side and it looked like straight diarrheas. I couldn't do anything about it. The chorizo looked like diarrheas. We've been binging Hell's Kitchen so his voice is always in my head. When it comes to Ramsey, I don't have any dishes to impress him with, hell I don't think I could impress the man at all. You see, I know I'm not a phenomenal chef so I'm not wasting time deflating a souffle or cooking meat so rare it revives on the table. So I'll ask him to join me for some evening drinks while we bake some fresh bread. Sure it's nothing crazy but we'll shoot the shit for a couple hours and have a warm snack of fresh baked bread to show for it. Nothing hits quite like late night drunk bread. Would cook 6 extra medium grilled filet mignon steak, brine it in a mix of salt 6 spices, and white pepper for 18 hours, before making a homemade puff pastry dough made with flour imported from another country, then assembling in a Dutch oven, letting it sit in the sun for 5 hours, then cooking at 323.56 degrees in a convection oven for 5 hours wrapped in tin foil. After the cooking, I will make a goat and turkey gravy with minced arugula, chives, and other fine herbs. Then I will make a red wine broth to mix with the gravy, before pouring it over the Dutch oven. I will then wait for 8 days for the bake to absorb all of the brine. After this, I would make 3 mug cakes minus 68% dark chocolate, coffee cake, and caramel. I would also make ice creams flavored vanilla bean, marshmallow, and white chocolate. I would assemble all 3 mug cakes on a plate and scoop the ice cream on top shortly before the meal. Before that though, I would pour the man himself a homemade glass of fine red wine to go with his complimentary 6 steak beef wellington. I would assemble a tall slice in his plate and pour some more of the broth over it after he has his wine, and after that course, he will be served his mug cake with a chef to sprinkle edible gold leaf atop it. If he is in any way unsatisfied with his meal and calls me a donut, I will proudly serve the man a complimentary donut with edible gold leaf atop it once again. As he is escorted out, I will have a waiter to give him a goodie bag filled with fancy meat spreads and cheeses from all over the world. Popcorn His old dick Well I'd cook him whatever I'm making anyway. If he's coming to my place he's not expecting fine dining. Tonight I made a mushroom rice pilaf with toasted almonds, a mix of roasted veggies and parm and lemon crusted salmon for dinner. Sounds high end, it's pretty easy. He would probably serve something similar in a restaurant but with all fresh ingredients. The almond slivers, pre-toasted. Roasted veg from frozen. I added my own spices of course. The pilaf was from a bag but I sautéed the mushrooms with some shallots first and did use homemade stock. The fish was defrosted and I did use actual parmesan and lemon not from a bottle. Not fancy, my mushrooms were on clearance, everything else I got on sale or had bought in bulk. Again pretty much all frozen. Would he like it? Probably. Would he copy my exact ingredients and share for others? No. I've never worked in a kitchen, I don't claim to be a chef. The man is very respectful and enjoys when someone enjoys what they cook. He only gets mad if you claim you're an expert and don't bother to listen to criticism and have an attitude. Like a jackass. Thanks for watching till the end.